Hello guys and girls, this is Sardis K, and today I am back with another Lost Content video. Today I'm going to be talking about three interesting things in Dark Souls 2 which were left in the game files, never to be seen again. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the Undead Steel Worker. And uh, these are the enemies in the Earthen Peak and in the Harvest Valley. And there is a cut variation of those which is never seen before. They are wearing their worker suits and goggles on their head. And there are two weapons that they can wield, the blacksmith hammer or this gigantic hammer or their blacksmithing tools. Uh, I don't know what's this called exactly, but yeah, this is a very interesting thing. Like these are the blacksmith. I think it has some lore to the Iron King that they were to with him or he forced them to do it or something like that but it's pretty epic to, for uh, FromSoft to put something like this and it's pretty sad that they remove uh, things like that. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is the Duke of Tsildora or the Lord if you want to call him. You meet this guy after you beat the Duke's dear Freja and you find him in the Lord's private room wielding a thrusting sword but there is a cut variation of this guy wielding a bandit's knife or a weapon that really looks like a bandit's knife and this weapon is also in uh, Aldi's Keep you can see it if you look closely where all the weapons are stored you can see uh, things like that it's not very interesting but it's a good thing like uh, they wanted to make a second variation of this guy but the next thing is the big blast you might uh, guys know this already but if you notice in the credits you will find a voice acting for the child emerald herald now you cannot see the child emerald herald in the game by any means unless you use modding and as you can see her in front of you right now this is the child emerald herald now her id comes exactly after the original emerald herald and the, as you can know she, it is her by seeing her her right eye which is purple in when she was uh, grown up and when she was a child. Also there are some poses that she can do like she comes close to you and she does this like she puts her hands together praying or wishing you something and she looks very cute doing that and there's another variation or another move sorry that uh, she raises her hand above maybe it's supposed to be an animation but she is stuck or maybe she's praising the sun or she wants to hug you which is cool and you can see a 360 spin around her so you can see like how she looks you know, like uh, all in all as you can see her it's pretty interesting but after the crown of the ivory king or sorry the crown of the sunken king dlc they removed this model or either in one of the patches of the dlc they removed it it's not removed completely but it's dummied out the textures are dummied out so you only get this this thing that you see in front of you it's pretty not good looking so I don't know so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe for my channel and expect more lost content coming very soon and there are going to be things that you have never seen and yeah guys I guess I'll see you later bye